welcome to UI UX Designing with Sayo College. I am Devam Bhattacharya of SYBCA and I will be the host for today. So let's begin. What is UI UX Design? UI UX Design is a simple prototype or a blueprint of a website, software or application which became the base of the future project. It's crucial to make UI UX Design before making the actual product as it helps a developer to understand the needs of the customer better. Though UI UX go hand in hand, they are both two individual terms. So let's know them individually. UI UI stands for user interface. Everything visual you see in a product is made through UI. UI stands the base of the prototype. The simple the UI, the, sim the better the product will go. All the factors of prototype like its look and function comes under UI. UX UX stands for user experience. As we know UI deals with everything visual in a prototype, UX bring all the visuals alive by putting them in. The ultimate purpose of UI is to give a pleasant experience to a customer. A great product experience starts with UX followed by UI. Let's take a simple example of a painting and a canvas. UX without UI is like a canvas without painting. And UI without UX is like painting without a canvas. Both are incomplete without each other. They both are essential for a product success. Now that we know about UI UX, let's know the tools that are required to make one. Wireframing tools. Some of the wireframing tools are Adobe XD, Sketches and Figma. Then comes photo editing tools. Uh, image editing tools like Photoshop and Pixlr are great. For testing tools, you can use 5 second testing and click And I'm talking, let's do a live session. So today we are going to make a prototype of a website which consists of first a landing page, second a menu bar, third a reference page, fourth and contact us page. So let's begin. The tool I am going to use is Adobe XD. Let's select a canvas. I am going to use web 1920 into 1080. The whiteboard you see, the white page you see is known as an artboard. Let's duplicate it. Let's, let's increase the height. Let's change the background color. And let's add an image. To add an image, insert a rectangle, remove the borders, and just drag drop an image. Let's add a logo. You can simply drag and drop an arrow or just add a text to it. The site travel.co Change the color to white Make it bold And, in and increase its size Now I'm going to add a subtext to it. You can simply use an image too. Remove the borders. Drag and drop the image. Use the view arrow. Set it at the center. It's looking great. Now let's add a menu button. Remove the borders. S simply drag and drop the image.
Now let's add a button. Drag and drop a rectangle. Remove the borders. Curve the edges. Let's change the color. Let's add a text to a button. With this the landing page is done. Let's make the reference page. For reference page, I'm going to add a text. Change the font color to white. Let's increase the spacing. Now let's add some image. Again drag and drop and canvas. I am using the repeat grid option. Ungroup the grid. Let's add some images to the grid. Now let's add a button to it. You can simply copy the button from above. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's change the font color to black. Let's do the same here. With this, your reference page is also complete. Let's create and contact us page. Let's remove the borders and insert a image here. Let's add a text. Let's change the font color to white. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's add some subtext. Let's add a subtext.
let's again add a subtext let's add in submit button select on the rectangle curve the edges remove the borders and change the color to yellow let's add some text to the button change the font color to black let's add some lines increase the size to 5 let's do the same here Let's change its color to yellow. Let's add some text. Let's add some more text. Contact us. Let's place them at the center. Let's drag them a little down. Let's change the font color to black, white. Let's change the font color to white. Let's add few more pages like this. Duplicate. Duplicate. So with this, now our UI is completed. Now let's add UX to it. Just select prototype and add some wireframing.
let's connect the home to the home page about us to the about us page and contact us to contact us page same goes here home to the home page contact us to the contact us same goes here home to the home page about us to about us and contact us to contact nowhere with this our ux is also completed let's see a preview So with this our session is completed, thank you for staying with me.